president isn't the only one responding to the Supreme Court decision. West Chu Scott Heidler is live in Melbourne tonight with reaction from Central Florida lawmakers. What are they saying, Scott? Yeah, well, that vote in the Supreme Court, six to three against President Biden's program, saying that it was an unlawful exercise of presidential power. That because the student debt relief plan had not been approved by Congress. The three liberal justices dissented on the conservative majority bench ruling. Chief Justice John Roberts rejecting the White House arguments that the move was lawful under a 2003 law known as the HEROES Act. I can't say that I'm surprised by this decision, but I am disappointed. We're talking about the economic well-being of millions of our fellow Americans. About 43 million would have been eligible to participate, a move State Representative Anna Eskamani believes would be good for the country's economy. Just think about the type of economic uh, uh, engine we would see if people were not weighted down by this debt. And that's the lost opportunity that the Supreme Court just created today. The plan would have allowed eligible borrowers to cancel up to $20,000 in debt, more than $400 billion. Regardless of how you feel about the issue from a policy point of view, it, it, it completely unconstitutional. The president does not have the ability to appropriate money to change the law as he or she would feel uh, they'd like to do. It's State Representative Thad Altman acknowledges there's been a steep increase in college fees across the country, but... We've done a lot of things to keep um, uh, tuition very affordable here in Florida. I think the national, uh, the federal government could probably learn a lot by looking at what we've done here in Florida. Something related to those student loans, you know, the pause for repayments that came across during the pandemic, that'll be lifted in August. Repayments are going to start to go through again in October. Reporting live in Melbourne, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.